All right, this is to break 80. First 79 of the year. Just a nice little easy chip. Not a lot going on here. kidding me. You ever had a chip ruin your day? Just had that happen last season. Unless you're practicing two, three hours a week, um, I've got a tip that will help you with chipping that's going to preload your body. Stick around and see what my tip is. Welcome back to Chasing the Tour. This is Jeff. I'm here at Cowan Creek in Georgetown, Texas, talking about the elusive chip shot. And the beautiful shot, the shot that actually kind of wrecked one of my tournaments um, last year. And we're gonna talk about what I've done to overcome that. So, the one thing that I would say about chip shots, where you're, you're basically maybe two, three paces tops off of the green, is if you can use this guy, your putter, 100% do that because what you're gonna find is just just try this put down five balls put them out and put down five balls and chip them out consistently you're gonna have better luck with your putter because you're already putting let's say 35 times around so you're hitting the shot a lot more than you are chipping so we're not gonna talk about that today today we're gonna talk about the chip shot so what I have got, if I, I've actually got a swing that I'm gonna use across the bag. So this is my lob wedge, and I'm gonna use that all the way through my nine iron or my eight iron, depending on how big the green is. So what you wanna do is when you actually look at a lob wedge, I'm gonna angle it down to where it's actually shutting down that the degrees of loft. But what I'm gonna do, instead of leaving it flat on the surface, I'm gonna actually tilt it up so you actually can see that 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 sunlight with the uh, coming under my hand. I am going to raise that, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow me to get down on it, to raise it up, and to chip it, almost like a putting stroke. And it's gonna keep me from chunking it because here in Texas, the greens the greens have these elusive contours that it's almost like a hand comes up and grabs your club and stops you from actually chipping it very well. So let's actually break it down. So this shot I'm gonna to use through my whole bag, but with a lob wedge, what I'm looking for is about a, a pace on, and then I'm wanting to land it about a pace. And so with that, all I'm gonna do is, like I said, lift the toe up to where it's barely touching the ground. I'm gonna press my hands forward a little bit. I'm gonna angle my feet forward, right? And so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my normal putting stance and just easy back and forth motion. And that's it. That's all I'm gonna do for my lob wedge. So let's see what it looks like with all the wedges. Starting with a, a lob wedge, it's gonna go shorter towards that flag. Now as I move up to my sand wedge and my gap wedge, I start to get out there a little bit further. Now, you can see in the green that it's gonna hit kind of a down slope, which is why you're gonna see kind of a little bit of a difference on those last two shots. And then of course the last shot actually hits the, the edge of the green and stops. So get out there, practice this, use the same stroke across all of these clubs and you're gonna be more consistent and have better scores. So I'm gonna start doing a new session every Tuesday we're gonna have Quick Tip Tuesday. Uh, so with that, we're gonna do every everything throughout the game, mental, uh, preparation, chipping, pitching, long game. Just any kind of tip that I'm working on that week to get ready for tournament golf. So I think it's gonna be beneficial. 
So stick around and tune in for Quick Tip Tuesday. <laughs>